Hi, this is Jay Goodison from Encodium. <clears throat> so in the video today, we're going to focus on another of our utility actions, specifically the extract email addresses from text. Um, to do this, I've got a example flow that I've already built. I'm going to walk you through how we've constructed it, how it works, and some potential optimizations that you might need for a production scenario. Uh, but the scenario is super simple. I've got a document in the SharePoint document library. And as a file gets added to this library, what I want to try and do is search inside the document to see does it contain any email addresses. And if it does, I want to extract them out and I want to add them into this email addresses column here. Um, this might be for a GDPR requirement, for example, but really just a simple scenario of saying I want to look inside the document, find any email addresses and add them in as, uh, into the SharePoint column associated to the document. OK, so I'm using the when a file creates is triggered. Uh, I'm then going to pick up the file um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass it to an encoding action called get, get PDF text layer. Now in this scenario, what I'm saying is it's always going to be a PDF document. So I know um, to, to say go and get the text layer inside the document so that I'll look at all the text inside that PDF document and it will give it back to me as some text. Now, in a real world scenario, you might have Word documents, CAD files, whatever it might be. So what you might need to do is to say actually, um, you know, put a condition in, check the, the file extension, um, uh, sorry, ext there, pop that into there and say, you know, ends with PDF. So I can I can quite quickly then handle, if it, if it, if it isn't a PDF, what I could then do is to say, well, actually convert the document to PDF. So I do convert to PDF and I could use one of the, um, coding actions to do that. So I can convert the file, so I can just pass it the file extension, convert it to PDF, and then I can pass it down into the git PDF text layer. So which, which basically means that I could then handle getting text from literally any type of document. Because all I'm simply gonna do is convert it to PDF first and then extract the text layer out of it, which is quite a nice way of doing it. But for this scenario, we know it's PDF, so we'll just pass in, here's the file name, it's PDF, here's the file content, and then the encoding action is going to return to me the text contained within that document. I'm then going to use the utility extract email addresses from text action. Um, and all I've got to do is pass it the text layer property being returned by the get PDF text layer action. Now, the next action uh, I've, I've dropped in just as an example is the utility concatenate text action. So this uh, action, the extract email addresses from text action, is going to return an array of email addresses. It could be one, it could be a hundred, but the key point to note is that it's going to be um, uh, it's going to be uh, an array. So just to show what that would do by default, if I then said, let's say I'm going to send an email, send email, and if I then just selected the item, the result item you'll see that it's instantly pops it into uh, an, uh, an, an apply to each because the result property containing the email address is, is an array. So it says for each email address returned by this action, send an email. But I don't want to do that. What I really want to do is I want to take all of the email addresses that have been returned and concatenate them into a single string so that I can write them into the SharePoint column here associated to the document. I can concatenate text action perfect for that because what we can do is we can literally just pass it the array of values and I can set a delimiter on it. So I've set a comma and then a space um, and you could set any delimiter you like but that's just what I've done for this example. So now what I'm going to get from the utility concatenate text is all those email addresses joined together and I can literally then just update the SharePoint item and specify the email addresses there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go forward. I think I've already got a, uh, an action that's done this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to manually test it just so that we can we can see the file going in. So just bear with me for a moment. So we're in the SharePoint library and we're going to upload. We've got the file that we've selected to drop in. So that file is going to go in and that should then trigger the Power Automate flow. Okay, there we go. So that's triggered quite quickly and we can see we've got the text layer out of the document. We've extracted the email addresses which should return an array. So let me just pop down here. Okay, we can see that there. There's the three email addresses that have been returned. Now what should then happen off the back of the concatenate text action is that should 
I've turned that array into a delimited string. So if I look at, there we go. So it's turned the array into a string and that should then have been updated in the SharePoint library and, and I can have a quick look there. So there's the email I've just been added and there's my email addresses attached to the document. Okay, so hopefully that's given you uh, a good example of how, um, well, not only the extract email addresses from text action works, but also how you can use the concatenate text to, to join an array as well. Uh, as ever, if you have any questions about how to work with the utility actions, please just email support at encoding.com uh, or you can visit us at support.encoding.com.